Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk about arrogance. Okay, Now, I've been in the football training industry for a very long time now. It's been over, over 12 plus years. And, you know, I've, I feel that at this point, at the level that I was coaching, I've pretty much done it all, right? I've worked in different countries. I've worked with different teams, worked with different ability level players, uh, worked for big organizations. I've worked with companies that are looking to expand their business into international markets. So at this point, I've got a lot of experience at the level that I'm looking to, I w wanted to coach. And something that I wanted to share with you today, and this isn't a video designed to help you as such with your business, right? You're not going to learn any, any strategies or tips, but it's more of a personal decision that you have to make in business, right? Now, business is hard. Business is, is very hard. And it's something that if you don't take the time to learn it, you will get left, left behind. Every single day, what I do is I sit in my office and I research more specifically the football training industry because that's the one I, I, I currently specialize in, but all other industries as well. So I research basketball, I research golf, uh, baseball, uh, basketball. And what I am seeing is that there's more and more coaches who are starting businesses. Now that's fantastic because I believe that if we have more and more coaches doing this, then players are going to get more and more quality training. Okay? I'm a massive believer that the, the club system at the grassroots or the youth level just doesn't work. Right? So the, the coaching that most of these players are getting with their teams is not up to scratch and the type of players and the type of learning that kids need today that is why private training exists it, it exists because players today need more more personal attention they need more help with the, the technical side of the game because the game is becoming more and more technical and what i'm starting to see is that the the standard of coaching at clubs is going down right it's dropping more and more and i think it's mainly due to just coaches being egoistic with themselves but also because it they've it's created or it's become such a results based type of industry where really and truly it shouldn't be because youth football or youth sports should be about developing the player and the person. But I feel that with the amount of coaches that are going into this and working at club teams, it's just becoming so results-based or so results-driven that the fundamentals of the game, such as the technical development and the mental side, is being left behind. So that's why more and more private trainers are now looking to break into this type of industry and start their own training business because they've seen an opportunity and they've seen, right, the, the quality of training at clubs is just not up to scratch, right? It's not good enough. It, you know, parents aren't getting the, the most value for their money. And also kids are picking up really bad habits, which in, in, in a lot of situations are hurting them and not allowing them to progress to the next level so more and more coaches are coming into this industry but what does that mean in terms of arrogance and just learning okay now i speak with coaches every single day as most of you know now i mainly focus in football football soccer but because our company works with coaches from all sports. I do speak with coaches 
in in other sports such as basketball, baseball, American football, uh, hockey, etc. So the problems and type of egos that coaches in in multiple sports have, they're, they're all pretty much the same. Okay. And because I speak with a lot of coaches, I start to, to pick out certain things that I know will, he- will hurt coaches in the long term. And, and the number one thing is arrogance. Right? A lot of coaches out there think that because they're working or because they train with so many players per week, that they have a successful business, that they have a business that is is thriving it's doing well but a lot of the time I, I, I sit back and I when I speak to these coaches who have 100 150 200 uh, clients and we sit down and we do the maths I quickly realize that a lot of them don't have a successful business a lot of them aren't making any profit and a lot of them just simply aren't making enough money now, the problem they have is because of this arrogance issue that they have a really fantastic uh, Instagram page, that they're working with so many players, that they have played at the pro level, that parents are texting them every day, that this equals success. Okay? Now, if you do the maths in your business, you'll realize that very quickly you aren't making any money. Right, so why is arrogance a killer? Arrogance is a killer because it makes you think that you are something that you really and truly you're not. Okay? And a lot of people that are arrogant don't want to be helped. And in this type of industry, in business, business is changing every single day. Every single day there's new ways to close clients, to reach out to prospects, to market, to promote, right? The industry is just every single day something new comes up. So obviously people like Ben and myself, we have to stay up to date with these trends because this is essentially what we help coaches then to implement with their business. So arrogance is something that doesn't allow you to learn. If you feel that, oh, I have a, because I'm working with 200 players, you know, I have a good business. I don't need business help. I don't need help from someone else. I'm doing it fine just the way I am. Okay, that's great. But you will get to a, a, a wall and every coach will get there where you're going to hit a wall and you'll be like, right, what do I do now? Okay? And most people, what they do, because of this arrogance, right, they don't allow themselves to be helped. So what they do, they keep hitting that wall, bouncing off the wall, trying to get through, but they can't. Okay? So if you are a coach watching this, you have a business or you're looking to start a business, right? just remember that arrogance kill will kill your business in the long term. If you don't want to get help, if you don't want to seek help, if you don't want to learn and become a student of the game, Right, you will quickly be found out and you will quickly get go out of business. Right? As I as I mentioned at the beginning of this, this video, more and more coaches are breaking into this industry. It's incredible the amount of new coaches and new businesses that are popping up. Right? And it's just gonna continue to get bigger and bigger. I, I believe anyway, because I'm in the thick of it. I believe it's just going to continue to grow more and more. And, it, you know, it's, it comes back down to the, the, the reasons why I spoke about at the, at the beginning. Okay. Lack of personal attention at, at the club level, lack of good quality coaching at the club level. And the fact that parents are just looking for something else for their child, right? Something to supplement their learning. So all the taking into account all of these things is just going to continue to grow more and more. So you have to be a student of the game. You have to learn. You have to take your, take the time to seek a mentor or to seek a business coach because if you don't and you're, you're there, you're struggling, you can't get through that wall, a coach like you that is looking to do what you're doing 
will seek out that help, will get that mentoring. And what they'll do is they'll be able to climb that wall, get over it and continue going while you're there hitting your head, not knowing what to do. Okay. So arrogance kills in business. And this is why a lot of coaches don't last very long in this type of industry. Okay. So if you need more help with your business, again, reach out to me, description below, number of ways you can contact me, send me questions and just reach out for, for business help. Okay. So thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.